y'all welcome back to my channel it's Naela so today we are back with a collective haul I haven't sat down and filmed for like a month now so y'all this is way overdue so I have a couple pieces I've gotten over a couple months past months I just want to show you guys as like a collective you guys seem to like these type of videos so here we are I'm back with another video I missed you guys so much but yeah y'all I got my nails done too um love my nail tech period inspo from Kyra they look so good um yeah so I'm back with a fall collective haul I'm going to show you guys all the things I've gotten and if you guys are interested please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I'm going to get back consistent I miss uploading it's just been a lot with my schedule in school but your girls want to get back on track, okay? So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. And if you guys are interested in watching this video, please keep on watching. So, you guys, I'm going to show you a couple of things I've gotten. We'll start with, like, the clothing pieces first. It's not going to be a big collective haul, but I've gotten a couple things. So I'm going to start with the first dress. This dress is from Poster Girl. I know you guys have seen this dress a million times plus on Instagram. I wanted this for my birthday it did not come in time so I just had it in my closet and I'm like okay I don't know where I want to wear this to because I wanted to wear it like on vacation but I didn't go on vacation so I'm like okay I don't know where I'm gonna wear this dress to but I had homecoming last Saturday Sunday so I wore it out to like the club and everybody liked it I got so many compliments I posted on Instagram everybody liked it and I do like this dress it's just like where are you gonna wear this to because it's not like an everyday type of dress so this is the dress you guys um I can't really show you like the whole whole thing but yeah this is it I'm trying to show you guys like okay yeah this is the dress um super cute I got the pink color I didn't get the normal like poster girl dress the short one I got this one is like the um it's like the half I'm gonna show you guys it's like the half dress so I can't show you guys like a whole detail right now but I'm gonna post the picture on the side here so you guys could just see because I did wear it before so you guys could just see the dress on me and I love this dress y'all it's very good quality it's just a one size fits all dress so I was like how can like all sizes fit one dress but it stretches boobs are a little bigger so I'm like okay I just need it to hold my boobs and I'm good I wasn't able to wear a bra or underwears with it because you'll be able to see it but other than that I felt very secure I love the dress I got so many compliments I'll probably wear it again because it was like I got this it was like $164 so I'm like I'm definitely gonna wear it again or I'm gonna sell it I like this dress so I'll probably just keep it because it's like a staple it's different so I'm gonna just keep it the next dress I have is the ooh, 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 my outfit online dress and it is a like leopard uh, no they call it Jaguar it's like their Jaguar collection that came out and I seen this on Alexis Rebecca if you guys never seen her channel you probably have on on YouTube and this is the dress so it's like a front you, your boobs is in like it's covered but it's it has a like a slit in the front and the back and it's a one shoulder and it's pretty long on me I will show you guys a picture because I because I took a picture in this too and I really like this it was good quality I believe this was I paid it was $50 but I paid 70 because I needed it fast so it was like $20 two day shipping and it came in actually like two days and it was really quick so I really like that so they're based in Miami, so it's not too far. But yeah, I like their stuff. I'm going to get more pieces. Their stuff, they don't really have like everyday pieces like that. But they do have like some everyday pieces. But if you want a real cute dress, I would definitely recommend going to my outfit online. A lot of compliments on this dress too. So it feels really cute. I like that. So I would definitely recommend getting this dress. And I'm going to show you guys on the side a picture of me in this dress as well. Because like I said, I took a picture in this dress too. So yeah, so that is all like the clothing. I got these shoes right here. These Nike Dunks. Everybody has Nike Dunks. But <laughs> I just wanted some because um, first of all, I'm not even a sneaker girl like that. I just have sneakers because in the winter time and fall, you need sneakers. Like you can't wear slides no more because it's cold. So I was like, okay, let me just get some regular plain sneakers. And I love these. Like they're comfortable. I got them in a size... Okay, don't say the size on here, but I got them in a size 9, I believe. 
He got him one goat or stock X, one of them. And they I believe they run two hundred dollars for those sneakers. If you're looking for sneakers and you don't know what kind of sneakers you actually want, I would definitely recommend getting the dunks. They could they definitely go with everything. Like I could wear them with anything. And they're comfortable, so I really like them. And they're different. I don't have any Nike dunks, so yeah, I like them. But we didn't even talk about this hair, okay? And y'all, the wig is from me. So this is from my hair company, 613 Wig. My hair company and extensions on Instagram. It was 613 Wig I got two years ago for my birthday. And I went to Miami and I dyed it, toned it. I kind of messed up right here, but I just toned it so it could be like a icy blonde color. So I really like it. And the hair held up for two years. It was literally just in my drawer in a bag. So yeah, I had to wash it. I sewed it into a wig. It's a frontal. I'm not going to show you the size of the frontal because I didn't glue it all down because I just took my wig off. But yeah, so this is my hair from my company. So follow in extensions on Instagram if you guys want some bomb bundles. Okay, 613. We have curly hair, straight hair, everything. Everything. So follow my hair Instagram. Okay. Just had to plug that in there because I'm like, hold on, I didn't even introduce my hair. The next ones, I got these shoes for my birthday. So this was like my birthday gift. I was like, okay, I need to buy it. I usually buy myself something like every year for my birthday. So I need something to go in my dress. So I'm like, okay, I need some heels. And the heels I had wasn't working. So I'm like, okay, I always want the Alexander McQueen's anyway, the regular ones. But I went, I was trying to find them. They didn't have them in my size. So I got these from Bloomingdale's and I went in store and they had them. These were the last pair in this style and in my size. I'm like, okay, this is meant for me. I have to get it. So I got it the same day. I'm going to show you guys the shoes. Get into the diamonds. Okay. So cute. I love this heel. So this is the heel, y'all. So cute. It says Alexander Wang on them. And I love Alexander Wang because this heel height, I believe, is four and a half inches or four. Four or four and a half inches. So that's not bad. Like, I, I don't know if I told you guys before, I don't go over five inch heels. I don't even do five inch heels no more because it's just like, why? First of all, I'm already five seven. So five inches, I'll be six something. And they just hurt your feet most of the time the bottegas they just brung out a whole new type of heel like the bottegas are three inches i believe and they look cute and your feet aren't hurting so it's like why why walk around with heels and your feet's hurting just to look cute so i don't do over five inches no more these are four inches and they're not that bad i wore them my feet were hurting like at the end of the night i wore them to dinner if you guys see my birthday vlog i did show these shoes in them i just wanted to do a whole like in-depth about them but i really did like them there's i mean i really do like them <laughs> i still have them the only thing about them is that they're very like out there like they're they're diamonds like sparkly diamonds so you can't wear them on like a regular basis just if you're going out and want to wear some heels they're definitely like a more classy heel so that's the only thing about them like i'm gonna definitely keep them because i gotta get some wear out of them because these shoes were 795 dollars Okay, $7.95. So, I'm going to definitely get some wear out of them. It's just, I don't really get dressed up, dressed up like that. Really, like on a, you know, regular basis to go anywhere. So, the next time I probably wear them is for my anniversary, which is in December. With my boyfriend, we usually go out to eat, dress a nice place. So, I'll probably wear them again then. Because I'm like, okay, I got to get some wear out of these, okay? $800 shoes like no. but other than that I really do like them if you yeah I really do like them I like Alexander Wang as a whole this is my first Alexander Wang item but I've always I've always looked at their heels the common heel everybody has like they they have like the diamonds on the the toe part of the heel everybody has those but I always wanted them and I feel like they're more classy heel because you could wear them with a lot of stuff more than these because these are more dressy to me these heels and i'll put a picture on them of them on the side because i wore them too in an instagram picture so i'll just show you guys how i wore them with my birthday dress name of it the julie ankle strap with the crystal logo i got it in 39 and a half and that's the price so 
said I got these heels from Bloomingdale's. That is all of the clothing pieces of the haul. So I'm gonna do a couple makeup things I've gotten recently that I feel like is a holy grail product. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, this is not makeup, but I know you guys seen this. This is Ebony Wood from Zara. Oops, I need it to focus. This is Ebony Woods from Zara. I know you guys have seen this, heard about this. Kyra talked about this. Um, it's a little too overhyped for me. I want to put it in this video because I'm like, okay. Everybody been talking about this. I got this. I got the smaller bottle, first of all, because you don't know how it smells. You're just listening to somebody that says it smells good. I'm not going to get a big old bottle. But you see, I don't even wear it. I worn it like probably twice. It doesn't smell bad to me. It's just like a, it smells like an older person to me, an older guy scent. So I'm not into woody smells like that. So this is not really my thing. And it stays on all day, which is a plus. It stays on all day. It starts to get on my nerves because it, I don't really like the smell like that. So it's just like, dang, it's not going to wear off. Like my good perfumes I want to keep on, it wears off. But like this, it stays on. So. To me, it was kind of overhyped, but you know, people like different smells, so. But to me, mm, I wouldn't buy this again. Like I said, I don't even wear it like that. It's, it, it smells like an old man to me. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so that is the Ebony Woods perfume from Zara. I believe that was $20 for that bottle, I think. $20. And yeah, so that's my take on the Ebony Woods. Another product I love, I seen this on TikTok, it's called the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder because I usually use the Laura Mercier setting powder, but I ran out. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try something different. And I seen this on TikTok right before I was going to, um, excuse me, right before I was going to Ulta. So I tried it out. I love it. It just makes my under eye, I don't know if you guys can tell, it just makes my under eye nice and just like smooth. And everything I love it like I love it and people were saying that it makes them dry if you have drier skin I don't know how it would do for you but I have oily skin so it makes my eye my under eye last all night I don't crease with it it keeps my under eye very not oily because I get really oil. I've been getting really oily lately I don't know what's been going on but yeah so I really do like this and powder from Beauty Bakery and I got this in the translucent color it's called Oat so I like that another thing I like is the a new thing I got is the NYX can't stop won't stop concealer this is how it looks I got this from this is how it looks I got this from Ulta as well I wear makeup every day because of my job I work every day so I wear my I wear like concealer under my eyes every day so I don't look crazy but yeah, so this is a good perfume. Um, sorry, this is a good concealer to wear every day. I believe it's seven or eight dollars, ten at the most, but seven to ten dollars. I can't remember the exact price, but this is really good. It is very dry at first. You have to blend it in quick, but it stays. It lasts all day. I love this concealer. I usually use the um, the girl pro concealer. But that doesn't stay for my under eye for me. It doesn't. I use that under my eyebrows, but not under my eyes. So I needed something that would last so, like all day. So this is good. I didn't want to use my good concealers for my everyday makeup. So I wanted to get something a little cheaper that can last all day. So this is a really good concealer. It's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. And I got this in the color Beige. And this is a little too yellow for me, so I might get another color. The other color I had was a little too grayish. So I'm still trying to find my color in this, but this works good for me. I have this on now. So it looks pretty good, yeah. So I like that concealer. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury. I know you guys have been hearing about this. If not, you've been missing out, okay? The Charlotte, the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Powder. It's like a, yes, yeah, a setting powder. It's not really a powder, but it's like a setting. Charlotte Tilbury setting powder is so bomb. I got this from Sephora. I got the mini ones because I wanted to try it out. So I have it in tan and then I have it in medium. So tan is like my skin tone, but a little dark. So 
I use that like around my face, like underneath my side contour, my forehead. Um, and yeah, so I use it like around my face. The medium is light, so I'm going to show you guys the medium. So this is how the medium looks. I don't know if you guys can even see, but it's really light. Okay, this is the medium. It's really light. So I use that under my eyes, on my chin, on my nose, just like the highlighted areas where I highlight, you use, I use the medium. So it highlights the area. But it makes your skin so smooth. I love this setting powder. Like, it's so good. The only thing is that it's expensive. This was $24 for this little... Little, little bitty thing but it lasts for like i said i use it every day my my other ones i still am able to use it so it lasts for a good amount of time but like the big one i think is 40 dollars. so the only thing about that is that it's expensive but i really do like it it's a good quality product so if you're looking for a good setting spray i definitely recommend the charlotte tilbury and they only have four shades so they need to make a better range for us black women. So that's the only thing, the only complaint about that. But I'm going to show you guys a couple of sunglasses I got from this company called Louise. They are a sunglasses company on Amazon. They sent me three sunglasses to try out and show you guys. So I haven't tried them on. This is going to be like a first impressions. So like I said, they are a sunglasses company on Amazon. And if you have Prime, you can get it in a couple days. So this is how you spell it, L-V-I-O-E. And they are, like I said, sunglasses. They have 100% UV protection on your eyes. They are anti-glare, environmental friendly. You could use them to drive. And they, are, and they have a luxury craftsmanship to each sunglasses. And each sunglasses come with a wipe, like to wipe your sunglasses. And they come with a user manual for the sunglasses, okay? And they come with a little, I'm sorry y'all with the glare. So they come with a user manual and a thank you card from the company. They like to engage with their customers. They have fashionable styles on their website. So, and good high quality for the price. So that is very great. You know, we love to save coins over here, okay? So this is the first style. Um, what style is this? So this is called the classic square sunglasses. So we're gonna put these on, okay? Ooh, ooh. So that is how this looks. Ooh, these are cute, y'all. Okay. I'm sorry for the glare. That's my ring light in the back, but I said these are the black square sunglasses from Louise. I like them. I like the detail on the side with the gold on the side here. It looks very fashionable. I love it. Okay. So yeah, I like the gold. Lights in front of me, it protected my eyes from. These glasses from Louise are very good quality, so I really do like these. I like that they come with your own wipes. Like, love that. It is the the cat eye sunglasses gray frame. This, let's put these on. Ooh, so I like these. Okay, these are really cute. Okay. And this is how it looks from the side. So this one has like an all black on the side and on the front. I really do like the cat eye shape. That's super cute. It just looks good on my face. A lot of glasses don't fit my face right, but all these so far from Louise fit my face really good. I don't like really big glasses, but I don't like them really small. So this is like a perfect, perfect shape for my face. So I really do like these. Okay. I like the cat eye-ness of it too. And like I said, this is blocking out all of the lights. Like these are really good quality. This one is a cat eye mirror frame from them. Ooh. Okay, and that's how these look. So they have the brownish color on the side. And let's put them on. Okay, this frame looks just like the ones I had on. So this one's just like a brown. I don't know if you guys could see. So this one's more brown than the other one was black. So I really do, like I said, I like this. I like this shape on my face. Okay, so you guys can see. Yeah, so this has a brown frame to it. 
So I really like all three of these glasses from Louise. Thank you for Louise for sponsoring this video and sending me these three eyeglasses. So bomb. So make sure you guys go check out Louise and I will put the links to all three glasses in the description box below. And like I said, you could just go on Amazon and buy these and if you have Prime, you can get them in the next day. So if you want some sunglasses easy and quick that look cute and are good quality, definitely check out these glasses from Louise on Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, it wasn't a big collective haul, but it was some of the things I've had over a while and I wanted to show you guys. So I just put it all in one video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I will be back with the videos, y'all. I promise I'll be back. I miss posting as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm gonna go